hello. So uh, looks like some centers people have come and some centers people are still trickling in. So I request you to uh, raise your hands uh, in the software and then we will take some interactive questions now before going to the next tutorial. So we have ME Society Pune. Hello ME Society Pune. Good afternoon. Sir, this question is for uh, Patwardhan, sir. Yes, please. You can sit down, madam. While explaining hypothesis, prediction, test and result, he had said prediction is also an observation as to what else can happen. That's correct. Yeah, so can it be implied that prediction is in a way uh, what we are going to test as far as the test is concerned? Yes. Yes, see for example, uh, if you take uh, that for the power failure case, if you take that power cable has failed, then uh, yes. I could predict that using this power cable, another monitor will not get powered. Okay, so that's a that's an observation that you expect to happen. If this okay. causative mechanism is true, that the power cable has failed. If this is a fundamental causative mechanism, the power cable has failed. So, what other prediction you can make using this fundamental causative mechanism? If you use this power cable to power some other device, some other monitor, then that monitor also should not switch on. Then you can perform that test. It has to be other than, see, your monitor has failed. Monitor in front of you has failed. Now I am coming up with a test which is an observation with respect to some other monitor, not with my monitor. If the power cable has failed, then using the same power cable, some other monitor also should not get switched on. Okay. I have not performed the test. I am just predicting. This is what will happen if I use the same power cable. This is a prediction based on now actually connecting the power cable to another monitor is the test that you perform. But see, what is important that you have to see here is that without even having to perform the test, I am predicting what should happen using the basic causative mechanism. Do you get the point? Yes. If I say that the power cable has failed, then you know uh, the same causative mechanism will not permit you to switch on some other device if the same power cable is used on that device. That is the prediction. <coughs> and then you know you can actually test the prediction by taking the power cable, connecting it to some other device and seeing whether that other monitor is switched on using the same power cable or not. So, so power, so it could be an observation that is, that you predict should happen based on, uh, you know, the same causative mechanism. See, even in the example in our slides, we had said that, you know, a particular uh, phase has failed. You know, what, what other observation that you can predict if the phase has failed? Some other device connected to the same phase has failed. That is a uh, prediction. It's an observation, right? That so bef before even performing the test, I am predicting if the phase has failed, then you know the printer that is connected to the same phase also has also is not working. And now then I can go and perform the test. I can switch on the printer and check. The printer is not on. Then I have a proof that you know my pr my hypothesis that a phase has failed is able to explain something else, not just my monitor is not switched on. The printer is also not switched on. Something else connected to that. We can perform one more test. We can have two more predictions, three more predictions. Everything, every device connected to the phase is not, uh, you know. So then you can go and test every device. Yeah? Is it clear? Oh. Yes. Hello. Yes. Uh, I have made uh, one example. Uh, the, as you said, of the power cable. Based upon it, I made one analogy. Uh, my observation is that no student is turning out to the classes. Uh, the hypothesis 
maybe there may be a strike in the campus the corresponding prediction may be in all the departments of the college there is no student in the class that's correct My that's sufficient yeah, yeah. Call so that for, is, I can so that is call sufficient for usually study. in the small uh, problems that we are uh, considering the prediction and test are very close like the question that was pointed out by uh, the previous college so what you said is right now if there is a strike strike will lead to no persons in your classroom strike will lead to also no persons in any other departments classroom so you are correct so your hypothesis explains two different observation one which has already been observed other is a future observation which we calling as prediction okay thank you very much kale institute of technology hello yeah hello Please. sir yeah. good afternoon good afternoon we want some example for scientific model sir a more scientific method of research whatever you have explained uh, taking example of physics field can you explain it using some other example um, i think the time will be little too short for that um, in fact if you take any any so the, the what the point we are trying to make here is any publication or any research article that you read is all this so that was what presented in the last thing how is your scientific method actually related to what you communicate so anything that you communicate in a paper is essentially an observation some people just do experiments and report it so that is an observation so if you take any journal paper if you see that it is purely experiment there is no explanation of any further causative mechanism it is they are reporting only the observation part now some papers might not have any experiments but somebody else would have done the experiments they would have tried to explain it so they explain it by writing a set of equations so when you write a set of equation that equation is actually your hypothesis it is your model so that model will explain certain things it will explain something else also so anything so there is no uh, one example there are millions of examples any paper that you take is essentially one form of expression of this uh, scientific method so the reason why we brought this topic here is whenever we are communicating something we should know in what aspect of the scientific methodology that we are communicating are we communicating only the observation or are we communicating a new hypothesis or we might be even uh, disproving an existing hypothesis so these are all part of a day to day activity that's happening in everywhere in all research universities and uh, research labs okay we'll go to the next college thank you. psg college thank you very much hello good afternoon psg uh, i'm the workshop coordinator of this uh, uh, psg tech and uh, uh, regarding that uh, uh, the hypothesis development uh, sir is it possible to have uh, the results without uh, having uh, proper analysis of uh, the prediction yeah so you are saying that is it possible that you report some results without advancing any hypothesis or causative mechanism explanation yeah that is that is quite possible uh, in some situations uh, one famous example in the recorded uh, you know a set of lectures uh, i have talked about uh, uh, diffraction pattern of dna x ray diffraction pattern of dna so uh, when rosalind franklin actually published her work it was just an observation she did not propose any model she just observed a particular pattern when she did the uh, you know studies and she just published it probably there was no fundamental causative mechanism why it happens so that came from watson and crick independently so it's possible that sometimes you have an interesting observation which nobody has seen before and you want to communicate it to the community it's important that uh, there might be other people who can probably provide an explanation a hypothesis a causative mechanism but you just have an interesting phenomenon to report so 
you know, the same thing is about uh, geiger marsden experiment. They did not, uh, they just reported their observations that when alpha particles are bombarded on a gold foil, you find some deflections. They did not provide any causality mechanism of why it happens. So somebody else came up with, you know, explanation as to why this happens. So it's important if you have an interesting observation, it's important that you report it. Yes, you need not always come up with a hypothesis. So, of course, if one hypothesis comes to explain it, somebody else comes up with a better hypothesis and the prior one gets, previous one gets rejected and, and so on. So that can happen. Thank you, PSG. Okay. Thakur College of Engineering. Hello, Thakur College. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, my hypothesis for that monitor blank case was uh, monitor is switched off because of damaged switch. So, uh, because of that, I have got a prediction that all other devices which are connected to the particular computer, uh, with uh, uh, according to that particular computer, they will work more normally, which are not com uh, which are not connected to that switch. So, is the prediction correct over here? So, you are saying the uh, switch, the plug point, the switch that has failed. Correct? Yes, sir. Only the switch has failed. The plug point and all would be correct. We are, that we don't know about it. Only the switch is not working properly. That is what my hypothesis is. So, how will you come up with a prediction based on this switch? Sir, I have come up with a prediction that all other devices uh, of that particular computer will be working properly, except the monitor. Oh, you mean the switch inside the computer? It's or not the very monitor. Clear. No, 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 no. Switch. The power switch, power switch of the monitor. The power switch of the monitor is faulty. So the, yes, you mean there is just like this, we have a, what is it called, the extension board. In that one of the switches failed. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. We can consider that as yeah, well. The monitor switch has failed. Yeah. Okay, the switch that is kept on the monitor has failed, and other devices connected. So the, the, there are two, basically there are two switches, one is for the monitor and the other one is for the CPU and for other other devices we, 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 can, uh, we can also configure with it. Correct. So for my example, only the monitor switch is not uh, proper, it is faulty. Okay. So in that I have the prediction that the CPU would be working properly. Fine. So this is similar to the example that was uh, said that like a general power failure or the phase. Fine. So in that sense it is, yes sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, that is right, your prediction at least it's consistent. It's consistent with the okay. hypothesis. Thank you. Okay, hypothesis. so now I okay. think uh, most you, of the colleges have come. Uh, we are going to reset this questionnaire session and we are going to continue with the uh, Moodle discussion. Now, in the Moodle assi uh, assignment, uh, we had given a small problem, which is like very similar to this uh, monitor display uh, failure. The problem was that you are waiting in a bus stop. Normally, you take a bus from uh, the bus stop and every day it comes on time. But this one particular day, the bus has not come for more than 15 minutes, which is very, very unusual. And we were asked, you were asked to come up with three different hypotheses and three different predictions. So, this is what uh, we explained there. The observation that the that is, bus has not come on time. Okay, you are waiting in the bus stop. So, just as you do a research question, you have a question here. Why does, why hasn't the bus come on time? The answer to the question is essentially your hypothesis. Now, whether the hypothesis was true or not, you need to come up with prediction. So, just to recollect what we said there, hypothesis is a causative mechanism of two different things. One which has been already observed, one which is yet to be observed. Okay? So, the yet to be observed thing is called as a prediction. Okay? So, now what we are going to do is to show you examples from what you have submitted. Okay? We are going to take several examples from what you, several people have submitted. And what we are going to ask you to do is to critically look at it and say what is the problem with that. 
it is very similar to the peer assessment that you have done. In peer assessment, you are given five different hypotheses that others had submitted and you had given them an evaluation. Now, what we ask you to do is to do it now in front of everybody and give the reasons of why you think a particular hypothesis is correct or wrong or why a particular prediction is right or wrong, is it consistent like the way we discussed for this display failure. Okay? So, we will take one example now. So, this example, uh, I am not sure if everybody can see it. I will read it for you. Let us take the first hypothesis. Now, again we will do the same think pair share. I am going to read that hypothesis and prediction and after that you are going to think for yourself and write down your criticism of it. Either you accept it that it is good or bad. If it is bad, you have to give some reasons. If it is good, you have to probably explain why it is good. Okay? So, first one minute you spend time with yourself, write it down and then you discuss with your neighbor and then we will take up randomly some centers. Okay. So, the hypothesis reads as follows. The bus has not come possibly because of heavy rain yesterday. This is the hypothesis. So, first thing that you have to do is whether the hypothesis explains the current observation. There are two things that has to be done. Whether hypothesis first explains the observation. If it fails here, then it is no, no use proceeding further. First of all, it should explain this. Then you should also see first of the prediction, whether it is a real prediction or it is something like a solution like many of us have come up with. It should be a prediction and that prediction also should have the same causative mechanism. Okay? So, I will go to that. The bus has not come possibly because of heavy rain yesterday. Due to, the, due to traffic caused by heavy rain and bad roads created by it. Okay? So, the heavy rain created uh, heavy traffic and bad roads. So, that is the prediction. So, take about a minute, think about it and write your criticism of this answer. Okay, so, let us take questions now. Perumal Manimegalai College. So, the uh, predictions given here has not tested with uh, some other examples. Uh, no, you are okay. First, let us see whether the hypothesis is right. So, uh, do you think the hypothesis explains the current observation? Uh, no, sir. Scientifically, not uh, uh, explained, sir. But no. it explained, but not scientifically. One minute, one minute. No, so there is nothing to. The whole of what do you mean by scientific? If you undergo this process of hypothesis, prediction, and testing, then it is scientific. You cannot decide it is yeah. unscientific even before you starting starting to do it. So the first thing hypothesis is like first thing about scientific is whether the hypothesis explains the prediction. Now, if you say it does not yes, explain, the only then it is called unscientific. Otherwise, it is still part of scientific. It is still not completed, but it is still scientific. So long as you are following this methodology, it is scientific. Okay? So, when we say something is scientific yes, sir, reasoning, it is essentially following this sequence of steps. So, let us answer this question first. What did you or your partner feel whether the hypothesis explains the observation or not? Yes, sir. It uh, explains. It explains. Okay, very good. So, your partner also agrees with that? Yes, sir. Fine. So, the bus has not come because of heavy rain yesterday. Now, the prediction was due to traffic caused by heavy rain and bad roads caused, created by it. So, is this prediction okay? No, it is not scientifically told. It is not scientifically told. What do you mean by that? It uh, means uh, due to traffic uh, caused by uh, what's called uh, bad ro bad roads. Right? Other buses should also come late. 
uh, are you no, are you uh, correcting or providing a sentence or so i think what you mean is i'm explaining that sir okay so this particular sentence is first of all not uh, written well okay i think what the author meant was yes, why the bus has not come in the prediction the author has given answer to a question why it has not come it has not come because of the bad roads created by the rains so not a bad okay prediction. but this is not a prediction at all it is also some kind of explanation it is also another hypothesis it is not a prediction which has got the same causative mechanism as hypothesis okay the prediction is an answer to the question yes sir there is a prediction why it the bus has not come which is essentially another hypothesis it has not come due to heavy traffic caused by due to traffic caused by rain and bad roads so this is not a prediction at all okay okay so oh, sorry we'll take one more uh, uh, college now 1080 kugatpalli yes so first of all you have to tell whether the hypothesis explains the observation and then whether the prediction is a valid prediction right so in the first example that was stated said the hypothesis uh, the hypothesis is a correct statement but the prediction is not prediction given mere example or an explanation for the reason but it is not a prediction at all okay very good so that's that we have uh, discussed very good so we'll go to the second example here the uh, hypothesis is the bus has not come possibly because of big breakdown okay that is the first statement prediction is if there would not have been a breakdown the bus would have come in time the reason we have taken this particular example is the people who evaluated this gave it a very high score 1146 knowledge institute over to you please hello sir hello very nice Am i can audible? hear you uh, sir uh, actually that is correct so which the is prediction correct? is correct sir yeah uh, uh, the first minute. example that is oh. the first example or we are talking about second example second example sample x3 sample x3 very good so it is a prediction it is a prediction actually if there would not have there been a breakdown be. then the bus come on time yes sir okay did you write this no sir. you didn't write this no sir okay no no i am not okay so why do you think it is right because uh, the, he he doesn't give the exact solution uh -huh. uh, the solution if, if uh it may be a predictable that is if if it not break down then it will be come on time so that is the thing you see so he is okay. he is not giving the exact solution for that so can you rewind the time go back and check this observation is it a testable prediction yes sir it is testable so you can go back in time is it and then actually the bus will come in time is it ah yes sir no no see is it a prediction first of all is it is the statement a prediction it is also another it is a part of the hypothesis only if there is no breakdown the bus would have come on time why has the bus delayed the bus is delayed because of breakdown this is basically restatement restatement of the same hypothesis it is not a independent observation mm. that you can go and test it out okay mm -hmm. the bus okay sir. what is hypothesis hypothesis an explanation of an observation the bus has not come okay. because of breakdown prediction is also the same said okay. the bus if the, there wouldn't have been a breakdown then the bus would have come on time this is essentially a restatement of the the same hypothesis okay. it is not an independent observation all right so let us look at the second example the bus has not come on time possibly because of traffic jam again the same thing it would the bus would be on time if there was no traffic jam so these are not prediction it is a restatement of the hypothesis 
okay so what would be a prediction see if the bus has not come because of the traffic jam you could predict some other bus which is supposed to come at the same time that also should not arrive that could be a prediction but here what is stated as a prediction is not a prediction it is just restatement of the hypothesis so prediction should be about some other phenomena which has the same causative mechanism if tra traffic jam is a causative mechanism what else it will what else you can predict based on this causative mechanism not just buses maybe you can say the no traffic is coming so there could be different predictions not a single test there could be multiple test based on the same causative mechanism but what is given here is not a prediction okay let's take one more from here the bus has not come possibly because there is heavy raining in islampur okay that is the hypothesis if there is heavy raining in islampur then satellite image should show clouds on islampur so we will go to 1217 graduate school of technology Uh, yeah the hypothesis does support the prediction uh, sorry the observation yes very good the, and, the first uh, thing that you need to look at is whether the hypothesis explains the current observation very good so you have said that right yes and uh, the prediction also uh, kind of supports the hypothesis because satellite images uh, would be the other observation where it would kind of confirm that there is heavy raining going on yes so the same causative mechanism which is heavy rain also leads to I mean also leads to an observation of a cloud correct so if there is yes so in that so now suppose you go and look up the satellite image and you find you can so this hypothesis is testable you go and find the satellite image if there is cloud okay you can be reasonably sure that it your hypothesis is right okay so very good thank you very much we'll go to the next uh, next hypothesis the bus has not come possibly because it got punctured okay so the prediction is if it got punctured then i should get a call from office colleague traveling by the same bus from its start so we will take this from Om Institute of Technology Sir I have a question what are the similarities in hypothesis and observation Hypothesis and observation there are no similarities Hypothesis is an answer question of something related to the observation so it is usually why something happens how something happens and so on it is an answer to the question you observe something it leads to you, you to a question an answer to the question a possible answer to the question is called a hypothesis you call it a hypothesis and not a definitive answer because you have not yet confirmed it so a hypothesis is a possible answer to a question that came out of your observation Hello? so this is what was uh, one more question sir Uh, what are the importance of hypothesis in daily life the question is what is the importance of hypothesis in daily life yes, so sir. it is as important as you think scientific method is to your daily life if you think you ought to analyze things in a scientific spirit or scientific way the steps that were discussed the four steps that were discussed hypothesis prediction test are the cycle of steps that follows an observation so if you think you want to solve problem scientifically then this is a way that is followed you have to hypothesize why it happens that doesn't stop there just by giving a reason doesn't mean you have explained the observation the reason has to also lead to something else which is observable and that something else that is observable we call it as a prediction 
Okay, so we will take the next question from uh, Sushila Danchand College. In, uh, we were interested in answering the question. That is, yes, the hypothesis yeah. is correct, and uh, so, uh, prediction uh, is also uh, reasonably relates to this. So you are talking about the second one, correct? The bus has not come yes. because it has got punctured. Second one. Yeah. And it got punctured, then you should have got a call and from your prediction also from the colleagues. Uh, they are traveling from the uh, starting point, and that can be uh, testable. I mean, if, yeah, of if course they are not calling, testable. I can call them and confirm it. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. The sample Y three. I hope you all can see. Hypothesis one is. The bus has not come possibly because of heavy traffic due to an accident on the road. So the re hypothesis is accident on the road. The prediction is if bus is in heavy traffic due to accident on road, check for diversion roads if available, take diversion and reach the destination in time. Okay. So I will wait for a a few seconds for you to raise your hands. Okay, Francis Institute has an answer. Uh, sir, of all the hypotheses given, it seems uh, they are not correct because it's more like offering uh, possible solutions instead of giving a proper prediction. Hold on, hold on. Are you talking about the hypothesis or the prediction? Let's the take prediction, just the first, first hypothesis. First, tell the us whether the hypothesis explains the current observation. The bus has not come possibly because of heavy traffic due to an accident on road. That is right. That's it correct. It does explain the, high, uh, the current situation. Very good. But as far as the prediction is concerned, it's asking for checking for diversions, which will be more like a solution than giving a proper prediction. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes, we'll go to Amrita School of Engineering. So the prediction is wrong. The hypothesis is, is right. Okay. The prediction is the answer they have given. What is the prediction then? What have they written here? The prediction is prediction. What they have predicted is wrong. It is the solution for the hypothesis they have given. Exactly. You, so this is how yes, to sir. avoid. So the if if this was the case, so how you said to avoid if the it? prediction. Yeah. yeah. So, that, uh, so, there is a solution they have given. The prediction should have been if the tar, because of the tire puncture, someone should have called us from the bus uh, whom we know, or there must be a traffic jam in the uh, road. Maybe that will be the prediction. Okay, not traffic. If it is a college bus or something bus which we know, some of the colleagues will would have called us. That would have been the prediction or the observation what we have to give. All right, thank you very much. Or you're right. The answer the prediction what they have given is uh, the solution. Yes, yeah, that's you're correct. correct. Your analysis is correct. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, this is sample M2. The bus has not come possibly because the scheduled time of the bus is revised. Okay. So if the scheduled time of the bus is revised, then there should be a change in the timetable of the bus at the head office. KIT College of Engineering, please uh, go ahead. What do you think of this hypothesis? Is the hypothesis right? And is the prediction consistent? Uh, hypothesis number one seems to be okay. What about the prediction? Prediction also. Is that a prediction at all? Cannot First be called as a prediction because the change in timetable uh, schedule Available at the head of this is an availability. That no, no, but is operation. that no, is will that happen if the first thing happens? A prediction is something yeah, that will, will happen if the hypothesis also happens. If, will that happen? If there is a rescheduling of the timetable, then there will be a copy of it available in the head of this. That's correct. So the prediction is consistent with the hypothesis. Yeah. Okay. Let us look at uh, hypothesis 2. We will go to uh, NRI Institute of Information Science and Technology. 
the observation given suppose the hypothesis i am talking about last one yes you are talking about this one hypothesis yeah. number 2 yeah, yeah. traffic jam as the prediction is consistent with uh, the hypothesis given the prediction is first of all is the prediction is it the prediction at all yeah it's a observation about this hypothesis yes correct so it is a prediction and the prediction is consistent it's uh, the yes. uh, consistent with the hypothesis about the hypothesis okay yeah very good thank you so we'll go to another example uh, sample x1 the bus has not come possibly because nothing if the tire of bus has punctured then bus has not come on time obviously there is no hypothesis here and the prediction is not a prediction it is it is a hypothesis statement so we will not go to this uh, sample y1 the bus has not come possibly because of procession of Ganesh festival on its way prediction if the procession is on the same route the next bus should be delayed but it arrived in time ok so who wants to go for this hello Valchand please display the second hypothesis here ok so hypothesis is based on the observation because we could see the if you know the Ganesh festival is on and then the prediction is also uh, correct yes we can hear because you so what about the prediction is it a correct prediction first of all prediction see whether it is a prediction and then see whether it is consistent with the hypothesis yes it is consistent with the hypothesis ok why do you think so uh, because uh, there are processions always during the Ganesh festival and it is likely to be uh, I mean we can definitely uh, attribute the next bus coming uh, late because uh, due to, uh, because of the procession so is it a correct statement of prediction or it should be some part of it should be removed just look at it critically should the prediction contain the last five words but it is but, uh, but it arrived in but time but it arrived in time should it contain that yes that should be contained no you see had the sentence stopped with if the procession is on the same route the next bus should be delayed that is all full stop well, yes, sir. ok that, should be that is a prediction yes, now I want to ask one more you go and do the test and the outcome of the test is whether it came on time or it was delayed that is comes a later that is a test and carrying out the test and outcome of the test but what is given there is not entirely correct first part portion of the sentence is right because that explains the that is one of the observations that is possible with the same causative mechanism the next bus will be delayed that is an observation which needs to be done now you need to go and observe it it is a prediction in that sense I want to ask you one more real question sir. No, the mistake the prediction. we just want to explain the mistake here the mistake here is that the test result is also combined with the prediction they should be separate the prediction stops at if the if the procession is on the same route the next bus should be delayed full stop that is where the prediction should stop okay. then comes the observation based on the prediction whether the bus came in time or not the second bus and if it arrived in time you are rejecting the hypothesis so the way it is stated right now is incorrect ok only the first part is correct the last part which gives you the test result should not be part of the prediction ok so, so hypothesis is correct part of the statement of the prediction is correct but if you take the entire statement it is not a correct prediction because it includes result of the test that is not a prediction prediction is if there is a Ganesh procession the next bus also should not come in time that is a prediction event has not occurred what is the result of the event is the next thing that is the test the test result should not be clubbed with the prediction 
okay so the first example is not a correct example the prediction is that prediction is wrong that is not a way to write a prediction in which the test result is combined with the prediction okay let's take the next hypothesis hypothesis number 2 the bus could not come possibly because of some accident on its way the prediction reads if there is an accident on its way the police immediately make some arrangements for the vehicles to pass so as to avoid inconvenience to the public okay so so ldrp institute of technology then from my point of view the hypothesis is correct uh, for the bus has not come possibly because of some accident on its way okay but the prediction is not good not the prediction good should what? be that is it first of not, all it's not correct i mean first of all does it stand as a prediction hypothesis is correct prediction is if there is a heavy accident on its way all the buses from that route are re- are delayed no no uh, we we ask you to tell us whether the second statement the prediction is it a prediction at all and whether it the is hypoth- not a prediction sir. it's not a prediction then what what is it then sir it shows like a, a test results or solutions of the hypothesis yeah it is like something tr- somebody trying to fix some the police are trying to divert traffic that's not first of all you don't know whether that is the reason okay ah, so yes. that is not right okay. so thank you very much okay sir i also had a one question yes go ahead please uh, sir what is the difference between scientific methods and methodology no it's just the same thing methodology okay, is the sir. process thank of doing it that's all okay thank you sir thank you what i'm what we'll do now is uh, we will take some general questions from you so this bharati vidya peet okay the third prediction coming to because of red alert strict vehicle, uh, checking of vehicle is going on into this case the prediction hypothesis will be if this bus will get delayed other buses onto the same route will also be get delayed okay now are you saying that this current thing is right or wrong no the prediction which is given is not correct okay why is it not correct uh, uh actually the language is not clear media works so as to make people alert to avoid the situation of crisis in the city simple thing if the, if the strict checking is going on of all the vehicles then if the first come uh, bus uh, gets delayed the other buses onto the same route will also be get delayed correct thank you very much uh, symbiosis you have a general question or you want to discuss something from here symbiosis hello yeah hello sir is any uh, specific uh, word land word limit or uh, word limit is there for defining hypothesis and uh, prediction and uh, is any uh, specific keywords uh, we can use for the same thank you uh, what is your second question specific keywords yeah uh, second question yeah is any specific keywords we can use for defining hypothesis and uh, prediction so i'll repeat the uh, question the first question is is there a word limit for the uh, stating a hypothesis the second question are are there any specific keywords that can be used as part of the hypothesis so the examples that we have considered are uh, very trivial examples now the reason why we ca- took such very trivial examples are twofold one is to help you understand what are the different aspects of scientific method what is not clear to many of us when we come come across this first time is what is the meaning of prediction what is an observation what is a test and so on so that is the reason we took a very very simple example and also the examples considered in the class were also very simple that is one uh, uh one reason the second 
reason is help you to use scientific methodology even in simple situations okay when in simple situations that like you are trying to troubleshoot something in your house Wi-Fi is not working TV is not working how can you go about in a scientific way that is the reason we chose very very simple examples and that is why your explanation sentence is very simple now what actually hypothesis means in a journal article what does it mean in, in normal journal articles people do not write one sentence like that the whole paper could be a hypothesis the whole paper could be a derivation somebody would have written a model and the whole paper they would have given derivation of that that is itself a hypothesis the whole paper could be stated as a model so then that becomes a hypothesis so there is nothing called a word limit or expression even in words it could be completely mathematical right so that is one aspect the second aspect that you have there is any keywords obviously there is no one set of keywords it depends on what you take to explain that that is all uh, G H Rai Sony Institute of Technology hello yeah go ahead sir it is necessary to in scientific method for production production is necessary the question was is it necessary in the scientific method to have a prediction yes the answer yes. is yes it is necessary because if a particular explanation that you give explains only one observation and does not explain anything else then it is most likely not correct or most likely you are missing out on the actual explanation which is why so when uh, uh, professor patwardhan told about falsifiability it is essentially this you have to come up with a testable prediction and and that prediction should be such a way that it can be made false Poss one possible outcome can be a no answer as well it should you cannot have an uh, this one in which you cannot test it or you always you will get an answer yes or something like that so prediction is a part of it it is always essential that you have something different other than what it explains a hypothesis okay thank you sir dy patel hello yeah, yeah. Uh, hello sir good yes. afternoon yeah good afternoon go ahead please yeah sir uh, the workshop yeah yeah sir workshop work, uh, workshop experience was very nice sir just one query i have best we are we are uh, learn uh, we are uh, no on a learning stage sir so why the peer assessment had been done by us not by the expert what were, whatever the sub assignments we have done, we have submitted it should, the correction work should be done by the expert so we actually come across with the uh, no uh, the uh, proper uh, conclusion that we where we were lacking where was the problem where the under, uh, whatever we understood that is the correct or not sir the whole problem is the numbers uh, we, we cannot handle 3000 people in numbers the similar way that you cannot handle a class of 100 students you cannot possibly correct the hypothesis and give feedback on 100 students now the reason why we have this session is essentially to make for it in from the uh, see what you learnt online is only part of the entire learning so there you are exposed to certain ways certain things that you try to do it yourself and in this session we are taking examples from there and then showing to you how to look at these things and this will hopefully uh, help you in uh, taking your own class so when you your own class we encourage you to do a similar uh, exercise of peer evaluation and then take a few examples now if everything is going to be told only by the teacher the students will not learn the students will not be able to criticize others for what they have done as a mistake so now we want you to go back and look at whether you did correct evaluation of hypothesis of others hypothesis and secondly you should go back and look at whether you have proposed correct hypothesis have you given correct predictions you should question now that is the reason we are openly discussing many answers, sample answers that we have received. So that 
you know, you learn from the way we criticize or way others criticize and understand whether what you have done is correct or wrong. Yeah, because uh, 3,000 students and three hypotheses each, you know, you can look at the number. It's very difficult to give personal feedback to each one. So this is one other method that uh, IT enabled solution has given us, which is the online peer evaluation. So if you have a large class, particularly as teachers who are taking a communication skill for the entire college, for example, in IIT Bombay, we run this course twice every year. Every semester we run it once and each time we have about 700 students. So even for a class of 700 students, it's just impossible. Forget 700, even 100 students, each with three feedback is just impossible and it is just pointless. Instead, if you are able to show your students some examples, you ask them to do a peer evaluation and then you pick out a few examples just as the way we have done. Pick out a few examples and discuss in the class and then they will be able to appreciate and when they do it, a second time or the next time, then they know what to look for in the answer. Okay, so it's uh, 2.40 now and we have to take a five minute break and we'll come back and uh, take up uh, uh, listening skills uh, after the break. Thank you very much.